start with this big old um, piece right here. It's actually a slice off of, um, I think it was originally a really huge crystal, but um, it was kind of like cut off or sliced off. And I believe this is a an amethyst piece. And in the center, it's um, probably agate. And so what I do is I have this at my altar, kind of like standing upright like this. Um, actually, it's not really an altar, but it's where I keep my crystals. And so this is at the top. And the reason why I wanted to include amethyst in this is because amethyst is a uh, master healer. It's um, good for doing emotional healing. It's also a very good um, protective crystal. Um, and I wanted to show this because amethyst comes in many types of forms, even though we traditionally think of amethyst as this piece. This is also amethyst, right? So this deep, dark purple, and um, this is kind of like a point. So um, if you've ever seen how amethyst is mined, um, depending on the area, amethyst can be mined exactly like how it looks like, like this, in the ground, in like rich iron, iron rich soil or very clay like oil uh soil and um it's essentially just dug up like this so it's kind of like a little seed and so you can find amethyst um as little points like this or um, amethyst also grows in various types of environments and i would assume this was probably um it, it really does kind of look like it was, um, it grew out like in a cone shape and this is probably broken off or this was at the base and it could be a part of a huge like um, stone. If you've ever seen those huge amethyst geodes, those elongated geodes, um, it looks like it could have been that. And so with those geodes, they're cut in half so you get two pieces and it kind of looks like bookends um it, it i'm assuming like this is probably how this was found except for it has a solid center instead of a hollow center um that's just my guess i'm not sure if that's actually what it is and then the person who mined it um shaved off the bottom so that it could sit upright and i do believe that this one um i think there was a piece over here but um, there's an interesting, interesting story with this. Uh, I actually bought this at a local store uh, and it was sitting on a, a shelf. I think it was like a, two shelves above me and the shelf under it had bowls of amethyst. And so I was going through the amethyst and actually was it the amethyst? I think it was the amethyst. It's little glass bowls of amethyst. And um, I was just kind of like taking my finger and looking through it. And next thing I know, this thing literally pops off the shelf and lands on the floor. And thank goodness the floor of this particular room was carpeted. And so nothing majorly happened to this piece, but I do believe uh, a little piece of it got chipped off because when I put it back onto the shelf, the shape of it looked a little bit different. I just wasn't sure, you know, I couldn't remember how it looked exactly. But um, I was in the store with my husband and I picked it up, I put it back on the shelf, I placed it back in its little like um, wooden platform. And the lady at the register tells me, um, you know, after she hears this, there's like a couple other customers um, in the store that day too. Um, she hears the piece fall because it was it was really loud. Um, she hears it fall, and I put it back on the shelf, and she says, and I wasn't sure if she was being passive or whatever, but um, she goes, as long as nobody's hurt. And with this lady, I've never had. Um, I, I, it's mixed energy, right? So anyways, um, I went and put it back up on the shelf and I walk away and I come back and I tell my husband, I think I'm supposed to get it because it literally 
popped off the shelf and landed um, right in front of me. And so I ended up looking at the price tag and I told my husband, I'm like, hey, I think we're supposed to get this. So this was our main purchase that day. But um, this, this sits by my crystals and um, I don't necessarily work with this it's really just a piece to be a part of my collection but how some people use this if it were to have been polished flat this way and flat this way so it sits evenly is and actually you can place it like this because it's flat you can place other crystals to be charged by it or you can do gridding with it and uh, for some people gridding is a very abstract um idea but gridding is basically you have multiple crystals and you place them in some sort of like a pattern a radiating pattern to um to charge the energy of the crystal in the center and send it out right so if i want to amplify the energy of the amethyst i can place crystals on top of it, of it to add to that energy so that you kind of have like this recipe of um, crystal and energy to radiate to send out either in your space or to the universe or to the world or whatever space you want the grid to to apply to and so you could do crystal gridding on the floor, um, Reiki practitioners or crystal healers use gridding actually on people. So they'll place, um, say for example, they were going to use um, this type of amethyst, depending on what is the point. They, they will probably place the point in the direction they want to send that energy. So if this, if the head is up here and the pelvic bone is down here and they want to send that energy, direct that energy towards the pelvic bone, the point would probably go this way. Um, and then they would begin to place crystals throughout, right? So say this is like the, um, breast, the breastplate, they can um, add more crystals, right? So they want to channel or ch channel the energy of the um, the healing energy of amethyst, and they want to add something else to it. Like this is a malachite. Um, they can add a malachite, and then you want to do loving energy. You can align it that way. So then, what happens is the crystals they're all channeling each other, right? It's like conductors. Um, they're using that to influence the flow of your energy or your, your chi throughout your body so it does the healing. Um, and so that's one way you can do, you can do gridding. A very easy way of doing gridding too is basically taking four of the same crystals and gridding your bed. And so say for example, this is um, your bed. You could do one crystal on each corner of your bed and right away, you'll have like your bed gridded off with the energy of those crystals you want, right? So that's a quick lesson on gridding because for some people, gridding is a little abstract, but that's one way you can use crystals. Um, crystals in this size too. So you can use it as also a charging plate. Um, if you want to, if it's a crystal that doesn't need any cleansing, you can use that plate and put crystals on top of it to charge it that way too. So um, in terms of the size and the form, um, that's what you can use it for. Uh, but for amethyst, it's a master healer. It heals emotions. Um, I can't pinpoint exactly what what you can use it for. I just know amethyst is good for children. It's good for older people. It's um, it's one of those really strong healing crystals that you can use for people who can't uh, really take high, vibrate, high vibrations. Um, so it's good for cleansing. So again, um, amethyst it's good for cleansing purification purifying um, crystals so in a way cleansing um, and uh, release of addictions these are again just theories they're not 
um, from my understanding and my experience anyways, they are not, um, I, the most that I've ever taken from these is, um, releasing, uh, anxiety, emotional, emotional, um, toxins, right? Emotional toxins. And, uh, in, in some cases I've only had this happen to me one or two times, but alleviating, um, acute pain. And so, um, and this is through working with the crystals, so actually meditating with the crystals in particular areas where I've experienced acute pain, um, that it's it's worked for me. So um, amethyst is um, that type of a crystal. It's also part of the quartz family, and um, most of it can be found in Brazil, Bolivia, Mexico, Africa, Canada, Russia, the USA, and Europe. Um, so... Um, if you are very new to crystals, amethyst is one of the um, crystals that um, is really good to start with. They also come in a variety of colors and shapes and sizes. Um, you'll see that with some um, amethyst, uh, you'll see the um, traditional, um, or I shouldn't say traditional, the typical dark purple but it can also come in a very lilac or very pink or almost ruby color as well uh, so it really depends on what minerals are also included in the quartz to create that color right um yeah and so something that i've been reading about is something that you can use if you are doing meditations with amethyst is um, this affirmation you can say as you are meditating with it i am purified uplifted and protected through my connection with the divine so that's one way to use the amethyst so i'm just gonna, gonna put this aside i'm just gonna get it out of the way